start by securing a thread right behind the eye of the hook. And right here we're going to make a nice bed for our hourglass eyes. This bed will be a nice place for the hourglass eyes to adhere to. Start by wrapping one way and then crisscross and wrap the other. Once you have the eyes pretty well straight on there, start what I like to call the duck and weave where you're going on either side of the shank yet staying underneath the hourglass eyes. Continue wrapping until you think the hourglass eyes are secure to the top of the shank of the hook. A few more wraps will secure it and then take your thread back to the bend of the hook. Once your thread is back there, tie in a small piece of orange antron yarn. Secure it underneath the shank of the hook. And then wrap your thread forward, securing down the antron yarn. By securing it down just like we did will help keep the body the same thickness. And then snip off the antron yarn so that we just have a small tail left behind. Next are the feelers. We are going to use a long piece of black tail flash. We're going to secure that to the hook, wrapping it back to the bend of the hook. Next, we're going to add our legs. For the legs, go with crazy legs. Variegated black and orange. Tie that in also at the bend of the hook. Be sure your legs are even before you tie it in and that they stick out on each side of the body. Once those are secure, wrap your thread to just behind the hourglass eyes. Now take two pieces of braided pearl flash and tie them in. Right here we are tying them in on top of the shank of the hook. But when we start to wrap them back, we're going to bring them underneath the shank of the hook. Secure the braided pearl flash all the way back to the bend of the hook. And then wrap your thread back up the shank. Now tie in the 20 pound test monofilament. When you're tying this monofilament in, tie it all the way back to the bend of the hook and then wrap back up behind the hourglass eyes and then back to the bend again. We just want to make sure that this monofilament isn't going to slip out. Now for the body of the Avalon fly, we're going to use tan marabou. We clip off the main stem and then right on that main stem again we're going to clip the tips off. Once clipped, pull the tips together and then tie them in at the bend of the hook. Wrapping the tips all the way down as best you can to just behind the hourglass eyes. Once you have it nice and secure, begin to wrap the marabou forward, evenly tapered, to just behind the hourglass eyes. And once you have it there, secure it down. Once secure, snip off the excess marabou. A few more wraps will help secure it down. Tying in the claws will be next. The claws are made out of a tan zonker tail. As you can see, they're kind of all over the place, so we're going to wet our fingers a little bit to help tame that down. This makes it a little bit easier to work with. Take your zonker strip and secure it on one side of the shank of the hook. And then again on the other side, trying to keep the pinchers as even as possible. Once we have those secure, dub on a small piece of tan marabou and wrap it around the neck. This will just help cover up that orange piece of thread that we used to secure down the zonker strip. Now wrap your thread behind the eye of the hook. The next step is adding the weight to our fly. We're going to add four small bead heads 
on that monofilament we tied in before. Just add them on one at a time. This step will add a bit more weight to the fly. Once you have all four of the bead heads on the monofilament, secure the monofilament just behind the eye of the hook. We cut off a little bit of the monofilament just so it's easier to wrap your thread around. Once it's nice and secure, snip off the excess monofilament. A few more wraps just for security. Now you're going to want to flip your fly over. And once your fly is inverted, take your braided pearl flash and secure it just behind the eye of the hook. Once it's secure, snip off the excess. Resecure everything all together and make sure that the head of the fly is a nice solid orange. When you're finished building up the head, whip finish. And because this is a saltwater fly and we don't want it to come undone, I usually whip finish one more time. Now snip off the excess thread and you have yourself the Avalon fly.